Yeah. It, 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 Ariel, Ariel's got a good job with them, right? Ariel Helwani? Yeah. No, Ariel is independent now. He does his own thing. Oh, I thought he worked with um, um No, he Endeavor. did at one point in time. No, they don't get along. He doesn't get along with Dana for some reason. Well, there's reasons, but yeah. I, I don't have a problem with Ariel. I like Ariel. And I think uh, his show's great, and he's really good at interviewing people. He gets yeah. a lot of great great athletes on, great fighters yeah. on. But he's got his own thing now, which is working out very well for him. He was with Fox for a while. He was with ESPN for a while. But I don't know if he's working with other people as well. I don't want to speak out of school, but I know his show's very successful. Yeah. Oh, he's a nice guy. I just saw him at WrestleMania. He's always been pretty nice. To I'm me. friends with his uncle. His uncle's Gad Saad, the, you know, the uh, evolutionary. What is he? Is he a... What is his, uh, he's a biologist, right? What is uh, Gadsa? He's a professor, but uh, very uh, intense intellectual and a really fun guy. And he just happens to be Ariel's uncle, which is hilarious. That's fantastic. Ariel is pretty tough too, right? Is he? Was, was he? I don't know. Did he? I don't think he ever fought. I don't think so. I, yeah. I don't even know if he trained. Oh, he didn't. Well, he, God, he looked like he did. I thought. You scared of him? No. <laughs> Let me try that. <laughs> no, but I, he looked. I thought, I thought he was. A, he fought at one time. I don't believe so. Oh, okay. That's I just, could be wrong. I've never. Well, you would know. That. You would know. I was yeah, but I don't know everybody who trained. I'm always shocked at some he's, of the people. He's, he's well built. He's very well spoken too. Very yeah. smart guy. But I'm I'm always shocked at like how many guys don't train that are involved in MMA. It's yeah. kind of interesting because I don't know how, how you'd really understand what's happening. Yeah. Unless you have some physical ability yourself like because yeah. like especially when he goes to the ground to be able to see where the vulnerabilities are and see the transitions you kind of have to train i don't know i don't understand how you couldn't to really be to really be able to judge it and understand it mm -hmm. you ever thought about doing some jujitsu no <laughs> i thought about a lot of things over the years but <laughs> did you learn any that. catch wrestling did you learn any of that real old school submission stuff no, no, no. I mean, I've, I've, I've been, I've had it demonstrated to me and used on me. But I'm I, sure. No, no. But you I had was, no I, desire I, to I, learn that while you were hanging out with those guys, and no, I really wasn't hanging out with them. I remember, I just go to see them. I they broke me in, but I didn't hang out with them. Oh, okay. The Billy Robinson was a was a real catch wrestler. Billy was trained. Yes. By, Billy was trained by the a guy by Gotch. Mm -hmm. So you know, only a few of those guys around would. They, they could hurt you bad, boy. Oh, my God. Yeah. Yeah. The catch wrestling was a yeah. particularly brutal yeah. style yeah. of, of in, grappling. In, in England. Yeah. It was really tough. Because they started out with real submission moves. Yeah. I mean, it was, it was wrestling, but it was also real submission moves. And those guys physically were, there were such fucking specimens. You, you know who Farmer Burns was? Mm -mm. Farmer Burns was a legendary catch wrestler, and one of his, his stunts that he used to do, he would do a dead man's hang. He would drop from a hang rope, and his neck was so fucking thick from neck bridges that he could literally hang there with a fucking noose around his neck and support his weight. There's photos oh of it. Wow. See if you can find Farmer Burns. He was famous for doing this, but he was a, a le just a fucking tank of a man who oh. would go to these carnivals and he would engage in uh, pro wrestling things. Look at this. Yeah. Look wow. at him, bro. He's literally hanging by his fucking neck. Jesus Christ. <laughs> I mean, how insane. I mean, these are different fucking human beings. Yeah. This is a different time of the world. I mean, even look at the way they're built. They're just strong. It's not bodybuilder muscles. These guys are just animals. That was Farmer Burns. Wow. And so those, this, like, he has a bunch of instructionals, like images and stuff that you could see that are real moves that people still use in MMA today. Mm -hmm. Like, a lot of that catch, and Josh Barnett was the best at that. He was probably the very best at transitioning catch wrestling and using it not just in submission matches. Like, he, he, he submitted Heron Gracie. He submitted Dean Lister. He submitted some legit guys with catch wrestling moves in like grappling tournaments and in MMA and you know he's a but that's that he's from that same old school though learned all that stuff from guys like Billy Robinson Le learned all those strength and conditioning moves did all the mace work and shit like those guys all use steel maces for conditioning all that stuff that you're seeing today like that on it does all that functional strength does those guys were way ahead yeah way ahead they were doing that way back then they were some of the best fucking conditioned athletes ever and that's where it all started out. It all started out with like legit wrestling. Yeah. And then it became pro wrestling. 
when you know they realized like look we're doing all these ma- we can't like actual fight every night so right. it became this thing <laughs> thank god <laughs> thank god <laughs> right? guys like me came along yeah <laughs> yeah i didn't mind doing the hour but i didn't want to fight overnight about it 